no. That was the time we got two moose in one day. Remember? 82. 81. 82. You sure? I know when I was born. Nice shooting. Thought there were no deer around here. Must have got lost. How old were you when you got your first kill? Mm, nine, ten. You were 14. Older than me? No way. Leo came back in 1972. I know what I'm talking about. Jesus, Mary. Uh. What's he doing back here? Go straight home, okay? Still leaning on you? Michelle, really got it in for me. I'm not gonna testify, okay? That's what Albert says. You're way too smart. I said, yeah, but he's really pissed off at me. Albert says you don't want to get hurt. You know what to do. <laughs> Albert's not even here, man. Buggered off. Yeah, Albert buggered off. Once this court thing's over, there's lots of bucks out there if we put our heads together. Better than trying to kill each other. I never tried to kill you. This time I'll cut you in. A percentage. <laughs> Birth isn't Wrigley, eh? My cousin Jimmy saw her down there. You guys split up? Don't worry. He'll keep an eye out for her. That's excellent. Excellent. Pawn scum. Pawn scum. She calls all my medicine pond scum. Not true. She doesn't trust me. Yeah, too many schools, I guess. <laughs> the mud is good. Oh, the mud is dirty. Okay. What's this? It cleans the bowels. In my part of town, it's known as laxative. Come on, Elsie needs her nap. I'll come back, okay? Is TV still mad at you? He's mad at everybody. He's scared. Don't worry. I'm looking out for him. Make sure it doesn't get dirty. I trust her. Well, I trust her too. It's not magic. Hey, man, she has wisdom. It's in her eyes. Me and her connected. I just didn't see it. Well, me and her connected too. It just it took a little while. That's all. I have time. <laughs> so you gonna stay here? Well, what about your thesis? It can wait. You stayed. How come? I had nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes it feels like home. But sometimes it feels like I don't know anybody here. It's not a native thing, Nevada. I don't belong. Is that what I'm hearing? You're hearing that it can get lonely. You lonely? I know all about you big city boys. Just be careful. Good job. Good job. 
What's he doing back here? On him on the road. Should have left him. Where's Albert? I thought he was with you. So, Mich Michelle's gonna be so happy to see you. I'll be happy to see her. Come on. <laughs> Witness protection? Yeah. See, I've seen it on TV. You hide me someplace, I get a new name, a job. Did he threaten you? Witness relocation is a huge deal, TV. Murder trials, organized crime. He firebombed my house? Almost killed my kid? Remember? Look, you've been busting my butt to testify. I'll testify. You just get me out of here. Even if we could do it, send you south somewhere, what are you going to do? Live. How? What about Bertha? Bertha who? OK, what about Kyla? What about your mom and Elsie? Do you want me to testify or not? Yes, but. <laughs> he was passed out on the road. Joe and Leon picked him up. <laughs> Sister Michelle, our lady of the pickle up her bum. <laughs> and young Al Capone. <laughs> Christ, it's good to be back. Did you miss me? I bet you did. Come on, Happy. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You, you, you can't lock me up. I know the goddamn law. Public drunkenness. Yeah. Jeez, I can smell them from here. Hey, you like the smell? Bring back memories? Oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> Don't shove me. Yeah, right. But what? You don't have to leave. We can protect you. I'll protect you. OK. I'll call the Crown and Yellowknife, and maybe we can work something out. Says he wasn't with Albert. Says Albert dumped him in Yellowknife. What TV one? He'll testify if he gets witness relocation. <laughs> On a booze can bust? He's scared sick. Exactly. The solution to his problems is to get Nathan in jail. He's finally figured it out. What happens when Nathan finds out? Not much. Right now, he's looking at six months to a year. He goes after TV. That's a whole new ball game. He knows it. And if he doesn't know it, Albert does. I told TV I'd try. I'll call. But he ain't going to get relocation on a booze can bust. Where's Albert? I want to talk to Albert. Somebody come in here and talk to me. Shut up. Oh, uh, what? You want to beat me with a rubber hose? Yeah, I might like it. <laughs> I want to speak to Albert. He's not here. Where is he? Son of a bitch. I warned you not to come back. I missed you. I meant it. I, I'm doing good work here. I'm inspired. Maybe it's the air. Maybe, maybe it's you. Look at you. You're so terrified of life that you're trying to suck the life out of everyone else. Your bail is $1,000. In the event you're unable to pay this amount, I'm holding you in preventive detention pending a court appearance. So hold me, baby. Hold me. <laughs> and this priest, Father Wasaki? Couldn't speak a word of English, but he brings his video camera along. So they finally get the moose backed up to the river. Damn thing charges. Harry's screaming at him. Rod, you idiot! But the priest keeps taping. Last second, Harry brings down the moose. One shot. 
priest finally puts down the camera, the moose is like 10 feet away. The priest passes out cold. I saw the tape. I laughed. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about that moose I shot up on the ridge? About 60 below? They went over the ledge and got stuck in a tree. And then the wind blows in and moose thaws and falls out of the tree? Lands on Michael Dela? Yeah, that one. Did I ever tell you? <laughs> <laughs> No moose in Vancouver, eh, Nevada? I'm, uh, Skittigate, Queen Charlotte. <clears throat> My people are fishermen. My grandfather was a chief. He used to go fishing with them all the time. Me and my father. I remember once, we went hunting for sea lions. <clears throat> my dad told me to get the small ones, but there's this big bull that I wanted. I harpooned him clean. I thought he was dead, but when I got to him, he was alive. I tried to pull the harpoon out, but he dove into the water and pulled me in after him. Yeah, I screamed. My father heard and jumped in after me, but I wouldn't let go of that harpoon. <clears throat> so I'm underwater, and I'm, he's dragging me along. I'm nearly gone. My old man jumps in front of him, Rears back and ah, gets him right in the throat. What a feast we had. The whole family. Nobody uses harpoons anymore. Why did everyone seem so pissed off at me last night? My wife always said I talked too much. Talk less, listen more, she said. Then when you have something to say, people will listen. You ever hunt? Not much since I got the job. We should go sometime, you and me. It's hard work, lots of walking. I can walk. I can walk for miles and miles. What do you say? What's the band truck doing outside? Hello, Michelle. Any breach of the peace, you forfeit the bail. Let's go, Ben. He walked in. Just like that. I told you I was leaving. You weren't there. You could have waited a few minutes. You don't like flying when you're drunk. You just dumped me. You survived. And Yellowknife, with no money. Where the hell did you go anyway? I saw your agent. In Toronto? What? What'd she say? She doesn't want to see you. Unless I got work to sell. So, work. Parasites. Hyenas. Everybody has a copy of the budget that's prepared by Harris? Are we going to go ahead with this thing in the absence of our elected chief? I thought we were going to impeach him. Well, there is a motion on the table to remove Albert, yes. Is that as important as a budget? It's the same issue. Who's in charge here? What if he comes back? He can do whatever he wants, but he won't be chief. Oh, we can conduct banned business without him, but if you want him out, we shouldn't do this and behind his back. You mean the way Albert does it? Are you prepared to deal with the consequences? It's not good to vote when everyone is so angry. We should wait a day. Then vote. 
Vote on what? Albert. Uh, Peter's chairman of the council. Councillor with the highest vote is supposed to take over. That's you and you. They passed a special resolution. It wasn't Peter's idea. Whose idea was it? There was a consensus. So, what other special resolutions did you pass? We were just going over the budget. The motion on the table to remove you from office. You just walked out. We didn't know if you were coming back. Why wouldn't I come back? I live here. Are we going to vote or not? Um, that's your phone, Albert. Who is it? So, go ahead and vote. I think this meeting is over. Leon said he heard a moose up near his cabin. You going alone? Wanna come? You should take Nevada. No way, man. Guy doesn't know nothing. Maybe he wants to learn. What are you doing here? Doing research for school. You believe that? I think he wants to go hunting. Would the motion have passed? Three to two. It's like he knew. He didn't, but they think he did. So now what? Don't ask me. I didn't want to get sucked back into this in the first place. He's back, huh? How's he look? You want to see him? You know, I've said things to him that no one's ever said to him before and walked away in one piece. I don't want to know if that's why he left. If it's why he's back. I want him to tell me he loves me. Or it's over. Or both. Thing. We could do the grand silence. He used to be good at that. No one did cut and run like Sarah. Just eat you up, you know. I don't have a stomach for it anymore. Rat root? Uh, I don't know. It's a root. What is it? What does it do? Well, you give it to chicks. It makes them horny. <laughs> yeah. Some guys don't need stuff like that, snowman. Yeah, like you know about that stuff, eh, Rent Boy? You'd be surprised what I know. You'd be amazed. Eh, uh, I don't want to know what you know. How's Nathan? That problem has gone away, Trevor Victor. You don't testify, boy gets a slap on the wrist. End of story. 
The problem goes away when I go away. I told you, your back is covered. Just like you told me we're going south together, eh? You're not ready for the mean streets, snowman. I did you a favor. There's other ways to make a living, rent boy. What's a rent boy? Nothing. Leon said he heard a moose near the cabin. <clears throat> Thought I might take a hike up there. You want to come? Yeah, sure. You crazy? <laughs> he knows less than me. I don't care. <laughs> Going anyway. You come too. Eh. to the cabin, isn't it? No. Well, not for you, maybe. He's not used to it. He's a soft city guy, like me. Man, she can't get enough. Hey, TV! Wait up! Where are you going? Oh, yeah. Gotta go to work, man. Why, what's up? I thought we were gonna do some business. Now I hear you're gonna testify. That's not true! You're lying, man. I know you're gonna testify. What's your problem? You just stupid or what? Anything? Come on, unless you want to sleep out here. What do you think he's up to? Nevada? Mm -hmm. Why does anyone from the south come up north? He doesn't have a home. He thinks he can find one here. Mm. People are talking, you know. Me in Nevada? <laughs> Well, he can't get enough of me. <laughs> Especially when people are watching. He wants them to talk. Mm -hmm. Hi. Something has happened to TV. He said he'd come for dinner, but he never came. I looked everywhere. He's with Joey. There's a bush party. He'll show up in the morning. No one's seen Nathan either. Unless the witness relocation thing. I called the Crown, said we'd a witness. Who's afraid to testify? What exactly did you say? She said there's no way that he'd get relocation, but did I think he'd testify anyway? I said yes. So maybe she put it into disclosure, which means Nathan's lawyer would be informed. Maybe he called Nathan. Or Albert. Jesus, Brian. Well, I thought... I know what you thought. So, what can I do for you? TV Tenya seems to have disappeared. I saw him this afternoon. He was with that... that boy from the south. He's not around now. No one's seen Nathan, either. He doesn't tell me where he goes. Were you in contact with his lawyer? When? Today. Why would I be? Withholding information is a criminal offense. Tea's ready. Let us know if you hear anything. You used to be a better liar. That little shit gonna testify? So you told Nathan to have a little chat with him. 
find him. Can't tell him what to do. I'll go with you. He'll kill that boy. So it's like where you come from. Vancouver? Skitty Gate. I've never been to the coast. Paradise. Why'd you leave? Parent shit. Know what I mean? My dad's in rehab. My mom's dead. I've got lots of family here. It's okay. You gotta help me. What the hell are you doing here, man? Cut yourself? Who? Nathan? He came after me! Why? I don't know, man. He's crazy! You cut a deal. You dumb asshole. I told you! Joey. Go back to town, talk to my mom. Get some money and meet me at Wolverine Lake. How bad did you cut him? I don't know. There's lots of blood. He's in a hospital somewhere, getting stitched up. And what if he's not? He's got to find us. So we keep after Bullwinkle. Give him lots of time to think. Trust me, Snowman. You start running, it's hard to stop. Michelle, do you copy? Fletcher here, I copy. Go ahead. I'm about two kilometers in from the road, heading for the cabin. I've got Elsie with me here, Michelle. I understand. I'm gonna push on to the cabin. Over. Wake up! Wake up! Hey. Moose tracks, about a quarter mile from here. They're fresh. This is your moose, man. Came right up to the cabin. Let's go. Coming? Then let's go. Let's go. I'm starving, man. I hate this shit. See? Tracks. What? What is it? You farted. <laughs> 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 I saw three sets of tracks heading further into the bush. Some moose tracks, too. They must have gone after it. So tell Elsie he's out here. He's alive. Okay, any sign of Nathan? Nothing since this morning. If they're after a moose, they'll be going slow. So I'll catch up to them tomorrow. Copy. Standing by. Copy. What's wrong, man? You don't like my rabbit? Look. Don't. 
Don't do it. Why? What's that? Northern lights. If you whistle at them, and the lights come down from the sky, and you breathe them in, and they burn you until you're dead. Dead! Shut up. You believe it, Trevor Victor? No stars like this in Vancouver, eh? Lots of stars in Vancouver. <laughs> You're looking at one. <laughs> I'd rather rob a bank. You watch too much TV, snowman. Say what, rent boy? What are you talking about? What's a rent boy? A hustler? What do you hustle? A hustler is a businessman. Thought you said you were a student. I told you, the Davy Street Institute of Applied Technology. Bullshit. Like that fishing story you told? No way, my son. That story was true. I did go fishing with my father. Yeah, and your grandfather was a chief? More bullshit. Who the hell are you, anyway? I'm the king of rock and roll. You're a liar, man. Everything he says is lies. I wish I could sleep like that. You were dead to the world. What the hell are you doing here? This is a hunting cabin, isn't it? I'm hunting. Do you know why I'm called Dancing Bear? Because you dance for your dinner like those bears in the circus. Our clan mother gave me the name. When I was a boy, I always dreamt of bears. Bears have great powers, you know. Power to heal. Power to destroy. Power to wreck other people's lives. Yeah. I'm a bad bear. I've lost my way. And I've stepped into the hollow this night to reclaim my vision. And look what I found. Don't dance for me, Montour. Where's that? Famous northern hospitality. We don't waste it on cowards. It takes one to know one, sweetie. You and I are like this. You were a drunk. And now you're a cop playing Sister Michelle to all your children back there. But who the hell are you really? What are you doing now? I went fishing with my dad one time. He blew his welfare. We were starving. He got a seal. But he's so pissed he fell in trying to pull it onto shore. I had a choice. Him where's the seal?
so I pulled them out and dragged them home. When he woke up, he beat the shit out of me for not getting the seal, too. So I hopped a boat to the mainland. Rupert, Vancouver, the streets. A rent boy is a hooker. A whore. Does that mean you're a gay? I'm still alive, man. That's all it's been about since I was 14. Saw the tracks. It's close. The moose? My moose? That way. Man, you're gonna lose him. You okay? We're gonna try and make it back tonight. Copy. Uh, now Montour is missing, and so is Albert. Any theories? They're out here, too. I'll see you in a bit. Over and out. Anyone else missing? Come on, you could use a nap. So could I. Thank you, Fletcher. No problem. You were looking for Nathan, weren't you? Ben? Uh, 
I'm working. Your grandfather was a good hunter. Good eyes, never needed glasses. Just like me, eh, Atsu? It's <laughs> implied. Morning, you see. Tea? Yeah. I need sugar. Sit. I want this thing with you and Nathan to stop. He's after me. You trying to put him in jail. I just want him to leave me alone. I can make that happen. Are you sure? And what are you gonna give him? Albert, if it's over, then deal with me like a man, not like a boy. Like that boy from Vancouver? That boy is dealing with his life. At least he's trying. Can you come see Nevada? Something's wrong. I burn these? No. No, no. Just, uh, just wash them. Don't worry, okay? He's got no home. No place to go. I'll keep an eye out for him. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep this to ourselves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 